You smelling all this, Gary? Love that smell, KG. See, this is what retirement's all about. Slowing down, smelling stuff, like these. This smells like, oh. <laughs> Covering the spread, baby! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! What are you looking at, Gary? Stop looking at my flowers, Gary. Avert your eyes. We don't want a bank. We want financial freedom. freedom. That's why we rewired the American financial system. system. So your money can work as hard as you do. For your first home. For his degree. For her future. That's what we're chasing together. All in one act. Seven million strong from Main Street to Wall Street. Money Lion, here we roar. It's that time of the year again, and everyone at KG Certified is excited about the BetMGM March matchups. The college tournament is even more exciting at the king of sportsbooks. New customers that place a $10 money line wager on any game will receive $200 in free bets. If any team hits a three pointer during the tournament, yes, during the tournament, you gotta love those odds. Just use bonus code KG200 when you register. Anything can happen during BetMGM's smart matchups. So get in on the action. Download the app and use bonus code KG200 to win $200 if any three-pointer is made during the tournament. Yeah! New customers only. Check my little space out, man. Got you know what I'm saying. You know it ain't, it ain't that. It ain't that. It, you know well, well, it, ain't that, it ain't that. It ain't that Disney. Man, it ain't that Disney dollar, fuck, but you know. Come check my joint out, y'all. Why you always like big doors? Oh, you know why? Cause we big. You <laughs> like know what I'm saying? Fuck. You like, call hello. Big doors. Oh shit. Man, I told you, bro. You oh, this shit popping. It's cracking. Look at that. It's different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, baby. Tell them one way to do it, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's only one way to do it. You know what oh, I'm saying? balls on the right, right. Right. Just in case a nigga get the, you know what I'm saying? No ducking. That right. ain't for me anyway. Right. I, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is my little ass. spot, man. <laughs> you got a little bar, you know what I'm saying? Put some highlights on the TV, man. We're going to watch the games in here, come in here, chop. At the look, bar right here. Look, this is where we sit down and talk about what you're doing on your own and shit. But this this, look, this the spot look, right look, here. Shit, isn't it? It's low key. <laughs> low key. <laughs> low key. Low the key. other day I was watching Martin. And I heard him say, like, then climb, yeah. <laughs> Michael like Jordan ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> A lot of people don't know, Perk and I started off really bad. <laughs> you know what I'm go, go ahead, dog. You know, real shit. Like, man, Perk, Perk and I started off really bad. <laughs> and what I didn't know that I actually found out is that when people look up to you, they want to do well against you. I had to, I understood it because I was once perk. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I looked up to MJ, I looked up to Charles Barkley, I looked up to Carl Malone. So when I played these guys, I was super excited. Not saying I wanted to be like Chuck or that I wanted to be like Carl Malone. I wanted to be more like Dream. So when I played Dream, it was more like, oh shit, that's Dream. You know, you know? I didn't try to fight Dream. I wasn't trying to like, you know, I was trying to obviously, you know, get off and do whatever, however, but I wasn't, I wasn't on no like, you know? When I met Perk, Perk Energy was like, big fella, I fuck with you, but fuck you out here. And I ain't hear the first part where he said, I fuck with you. I just heard the fuck you out here. <laughs> and that's how we competed. We used to headbutt and be nose to nose. And I actually liked coming to Boston because I felt like that level made me go to another level. And the more I actually went to another level, the more I felt like he, he wanted it. You know what I'm saying? Like you get some players you see it in this, you, I saw it in your face. So I was like, man, I'm, I'm gonna kill this young man. <laughs> and then P, P is like the gas of all gas. He's the petroleum of all gas. So he was always gassing these young kids. He had Al gas, he had Perk gas. I look up and there was like seven, like 21, 18 year olds. I was like, oh, these, these, these little moms are like me. They, they remind me of a younger me. They out here talking shit. They swinging on the rim, they out here trying to dunk, they pass, they, I, I would just, I caught on to, 
all the little games, little tangibles. But um, I like to think that per that competition between and that you bringing that energy towards me made me better. It pushed me to to, to another level of, of 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 play. I went into moves that I ain't. I don't really bring out. You know, when I face up and I rip, I used to go. I don't really have to yank it back. And yacht, you know what I'm saying? Like when players are making you go to another level. That's when, it, that's when it was something It was something different. Every time we played, whether it was in Boston or Minnesota, it was, it was always the same with you. It was the whole truth. He just spoke the whole truth. Listen, this is how the shit went down. Ticket didn't know I looked up to him. I had the the, the Nike KGs. Not the Jumpmans. I had the Nike mm, KGs growing up. Okay. So I'm rocking them. I had okay. both colors. Okay. Like, this was my school shoes, not hooping in them. Right, so I'm like, man, KG, I had the jersey, Timberwolves jersey. Matter of fact, you don't even know, but I went to San Antonio. This is my first NBA game. I'm in the 11th grade. I go to San Antonio, it's, against, it's you and Tim Duncan going mm. at it. Playoffs? You, no, oh, we just a regular it's just game. a regular season game. You give Tim Duncan at work, right? So I'm I'm over here against the the motherfucking uh when you walk through the tunnel Rail. and you like motherfucker motherfucker can't guard me but you looking straight ahead I'm trying to get your attention like hey matter of fact I was waiting on you in the hallway you never walked out but I ended up seeing Tim Duncan because mm. that was the time Stack w was playing on the Spurs oh, okay so so you give him the A work right Stack too so I'm like cool so then when I get to Boston I had to wait my chance wait my chance and. Like he said, P is the ultimate vodka, Patron, Crown Royal, whatever you want to see. Yeah, big fella, I want to see what you talking about. It's big ticket over there. Do you want to be, look, this is how he comes to me. You want to be here or not? So I, I'm still on the rookie deal. So he, he trying to test to see if I got something, if I got a set. You want to be here or not, motherfucker? Let me see what you talking about. You go, oh, you scared? No, nah, I ain't scared. Put the key in my back. So now we get to go on it. I didn't know Tick. what the hell was going on with you. Jump ball. That was, that was him. That was him. That was all P. And a little bit of me trying to show P like, hell yeah, I want to be here. You know what I mean? Like, shit, because Truth was like, he had got to the point. He got so frustrated with a lot of young guys. He was like, from here on out, I need to see who want to be here. I want to see the dog, the killer. So I'm going at it with Ticket. We we getting into it. To it. Yeah, hey, look, he get, quick. He give me the work. I, sometimes I'm coming in off the bench. I remember he tip dunk on Rafe LaFrentz. Oh, I'm a motherfucking animal. He screamed that shit in front of, <laughs> in front of, with gross back, right? So I'm like, damn, I got to go in here. He already fired up. Oh, so we going. get to go yeah, in there. Get him in here. We get to go in Get him in here. All right, chuck it in. Yeah. Change your yeah. <laughs> Come get some of this. We, yeah. We go in there. Oh, we go in there. I was going. Then all that go, you know, we play the games. All of a sudden, it's like Doc called me like, hey, we trading now Jefferson, man, we getting KG. And that's his boy. And I'm like. That's his boy, boy. I'm like, who the fuck we trading now Jefferson for? Man, shit, man, look, we can make this happen. Just give us time. So Doc said, you know what, Perk? I'm going to give you time to think about this shit, all right? And I'm going to call you back. He hung the phone up to my oh, face. Oh, shit. Right? Like so so I'm, I, I'm caught up because, you know, me and Big Al been rocking, you know, shit facts, like that, right? Facts, whatever. Facts. Next thing I know. Like, everybody start hitting me like, you realize the position you in? And you play with the big ticket. So I had to sit down and let it process for a minute. And so I called Doc back. I said, man, I'm tripping like a motherfucker, right? <laughs> so, so, so look, we had to be there before. We had to be there right after Labor Day. Yeah, I remember that. So he I'm he like, wanted everybody in town yeah, yeah, before Labor before Day. Yeah, Labor Day. So playing pickup. So me and KG ain't saying a word to I each other. I ain't saying nothing. He ain't, he ain't I don't say, know what's going on. He ain't, said, he ain't said a word to me. I'm like, all right. I'm like, yo, right. this nigga come I said, over here, whatever. I, said, I, I really want you to guard me. We so in the I summertime, said, yeah. too. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to keep my distance, man. So I, I kind of feel it. He ain't saying shit to me. He really kind of feeling me out. And he asked P. Like, what's up with your boy? First thing Perk? I asked people when I got here, man, what's up with your boy Perk? Every time I come here, it's a problem. <laughs> oh, no, no, you're going to love Perk. Dog was like, yeah, you're going to love him. He, he goes hard. He just talks on defense. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, Doc. Last time we played y'all, man, we got almost got kicked out the game. He was like, oh, I'm telling you, Kevin, that was called you. Y'all going to tell you what? You're going to love him. I was like, eh. 
I don't know. Yeah. Like, I'm telling you, just go in with an open mind. And, you know, Doc got me to come off what I was on. So yeah. I went in there, and the first time we worked out, I ain't really say nothing to you. This is when, <laughs> when me and Big Fella click. We in Rome, right? Yeah, we had to go to Rome. So, so we doing team dinners, but still, he's still kind of giving me the cold shoulder. I'm like, damn, this motherfucker ain't going to. You know what I'm saying? I'm so studying I'm, everybody. So yeah, he's studying. So I'm chilling. I'm, I'm watching studying. Baby. I'm watching Leon. We got a pack of young kids. That's, that's what I keep telling. That's what I keep telling this motherfucker Nate, man, who who y'all done took from me from ESPN. I keep telling Nate, you studying you know? That's my guy, Nate the Great. Yeah, yeah, that's my guy. Who? Nate. He studying? You're studying. Mm. See, that's what you do. You study them. New people. I know that. You know what I'm saying? I know I you. I just don't, you know what I'm saying? I know you, I try to. I try. You know what I'm saying? I like to see what new I people. I know you. So look, this is what happens. We go and they having this big Bagnani thing, right? Because he was drafted number one to oh, Toronto. Yeah. It was gas. So, so He's from Italy, though. He's he was from, from Italy. Rome. Right, right. <laughs> so we in there. It's, it's our first preseason game. No, we hype. We we ready to hit the ground running. We don't give a fuck if it We've is. We've been pre-season. beating up each other. Yeah, camp. yeah. Doc Council first training camp practice. The second part of the practice, he like, oh, that's enough. I just practice. We was I've in that like, man. Right. So that's we probably pro- the dopest practice I've ever been in. Oh, it was going down Abortion. because because it was a, a old school YMCA gym. It was. It was, it was hot. hot. Everybody the doors was had sweaty. to be open. And we had this second group that thought they was just as yeah. Eddie House, <laughs> T.A., James Posey. Leon, Big like, Man. Baby. Everybody. And they was just like, man, oh, man, I remember so, that. So we we get to that. We get to the preseason game. So I remember it's fired up. It's a packed house. It's packed house. everybody in. So now, now is is let's see what. It's really going down with far as KG and Big Perk going against Bayani and Bosch. We get to see each other how we all get. This is our first time getting to see how everybody get ready for game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. So we I'm, all kind of stand out the way, <laughs> right bouncing the ball. Right bouncing the ball. We get, it, we, <laughs> boom, 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 we, boom. we get into it. So ticket like, man, what the fuck, man? God damn, right? You gonna, you gonna bounce them all? I'm working on my dribbling. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole argument. We trying to figure Yo, some shit out. We that bitch going so, crazy for So after that, after that game, I remember <laughs> Tiki come out. I think he had like preseason game. Not open the game with a dunk. Oh, with a dunk. I said, man, I'm finna, I think I'm finna put this on this nigga. He don't give a fuck we in Rome. <laughs> Let me get the first. The doc called it. Four strong. Came around, boom. I called it. I, I remember the move. I called it. I said, man, this nigga got bad feet. Watch, he gonna go for it. He, uh, he went for it. I, man, I remember that. First, the first points were dunk. And the second couple plays was drop offs to me for dunk. So right. I big fella, had your hands ready, yep, big fella. Yep, yep. So I had like 12, 8, and 3. We talking shit. And ever since then, we that was when in. we really connected. He was like, hold on, okay, we got a little something. Hey, pop. big fella, come in and holler at you. <laughs> See that? We're gonna be like that forever. You hear me? Boom, it's the head buddy. Just be like there. that. But yep. that's, you know what's crazy is because I tell people, man, what people don't realize is that being on the court, not only is it your sanctuary, yeah. but it brings you together in a whole different way. And we on the road. We on don't the road. nobody like us in here. And you ain't got no <laughs> choice but to be with each other. And then Doc was great for that team, right? We couldn't have had no other coach for that. Man. Doc was one of us. He was just older. See, speaking of Doc, let me let me say some shit, man. Get up, get it off my chest. See. A lot of people nowadays want to say, you know, I hear a lot of critics or uh, uh, people criticize Doc and his coaching, right? Now, our Doc did this when he was with the Clippers. He didn't get this accomplished. See, what Doc, Doc used to coaching is, see, Doc went from being around some real motherfucking dogs that if he ain't got the same type of dogs, he ain't used to that. He ain't used to that. Because Doc a dog himself. Super See, I have to keep telling that story when Doc was about to put them paws on Rondo one day and shoot around. He was about to be on real talk. You know what I mean? I shoot arounds was like it could go up at any given at any given time. Yeah, we was different, man. We was different. We was different, but we was different. I don't know how many players these days are trying to square up to their coach. I don't know how many, you know, it was just different. My only regret for all of that in the brotherhood years is that I should have came, I should have got to, I should have got to Boston a little earlier. That's what I should have did. I we, t- was all, we was I, all out. And I ain't gonna front. If, no. if I can go back, I'd have took some practices off. I'd have sat out some drills. You but, wasn't sitting out no fucking drills, facts. man. You was too stubborn. Fuck it, I was trying to get my shit right. 
Stop, nigga. How you like the bar, dog? You want something from the bar? You want something from the bar? I'm used to a different type of bar. Make sure question. Cause some something happened and I was I was happy than a motherfucker, dog. I saw an all-star break. I saw the picture with you, Ray, and Paul. Oh yeah, we we chopped. We chopped. Uh yeah, when we took a picture. I'm well, fucking with it. No, that real shit. When I came in, when I came in, he was talking. I got a little thing that I um okay. I'm gonna share with. But when you see me walk in, I'm cracking jokes on Paul because we all had to get our jackets. <laughs> <laughs> and Pete, Pete, Pete wasn't going to fit his jacket. So he, 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 like, he ain't going to fit your he'll, jacket. He'll, he'll look, that's the whack body but shit. But when I came in, talk, yo, when I came in, Ray was talking to Robert Parrish and Kevin McHale. You know what I'm saying? So I let them talk, and I you know, kind of embracing the room. It was it was a room full of like Legends. greatness, and, yeah. and I was just sitting up here embracing it all. And then when we took the picture, he was on my left shoulder. So he grabbed my head, and I turned around. First thing we did, what's up with you, boy? You good? And just went into, like, you know, like lean Mr. B. That's how it posted. You know what I'm saying? And then we, and then I, I stood up, got in the middle of it, and we took that picture. So, you know, life is about moving, growing. You know what I'm saying? And it happened organically. Yeah, it did. It, it wasn't, wasn't forced. forced. Yeah, right. that's right. The, that's the great thing. I, right. I look, I'm like hell yeah. yeah. I'm like hell yeah. yeah. Now we get to have our motherfucking trip. Yeah. Everybody get. <laughs> I, I, just, I told I told E House that, but look, before we go on the trip. You know what I'm saying? I gotta make sure I get this shit right, you know what I'm saying? Make sure I slim up a little bit. It's the whack body shit. We grown, shit. baby. We grown, baby. We grown. Now, now this is what I want to ask you, because I didn't see this coming. Man, I did not know that you were this. What, I didn't, I, like, what the fuck you mean? Like, Lord, <laughs> like we talk basketball. I know you got IQ. I know you got an opinion. But bro, I didn't know you was gonna go. I actually thought you was gonna go into coaching and teaching. I know your heart is in education and taking a young youngster and making them better. You want to share all the jewels. You want to bring me whoever P into it. You want that. You want whoever is here to learn to soak it all up. I would have never thought you would been an analyst. Like I would have never thought you went. You would go into analyst. When did you know you wanted to be an analyst for the game? That's what I've always wanted to ask you. Fuck, I didn't know. Word. I didn't know, and, and, and everything you said was right. So my whole thing was was that you knew this already. I wanted to go into coaching, mm -hmm. and I wanted to be. That was the reason you went to Cleveland, right? I went to Cleveland. I started getting molded under T. Lou. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And then I said to myself, I said, okay, cool. I went to the to the dra uh, the combine, the draft combine. I went coach there, and I had I had some offers, but let me tell you, so I just wanted to be, I wanted, to, I, in my mind, I said, when I finish playing, whatever steps I got to take, I'm going to take them. But I want to be the next NBA head coach that was a big man that played in the mm -hmm. league. Because okay. I feel like we get overlooked, dog. Yeah. Like as bigs. Think yeah. about it. We get yeah. overlooked. Like yeah. when you think about all the coaches that are in the game right now, they're, 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 they were right. point guards or shooting guards. Yeah. It's not bigs. I think Kevin McHale was the last one. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? Patrick McEwen, Ewan, he had to go to college. Jawan Howard had to go to college to get a head coach's job. Mm. I want to work and be that next one to be like, Perk was a big, he is holding it down for the power forwards and centers. Mm. And so I said, you know what? I got a few coaching offers from the organizations that I played with, mm. Celtics, uh, OKC oh, and Cleveland. Oh wow! I ain't really fuck with New Orleans like that, All right? right? Me and Dale Dimps ain't yeah. had a right year. Shit just went love, you okay. know. Good luck to him. All good. So I, I said, you know what? Let me see if I could get some more competition out there. So what I started doing was I started, you know, I never was big on social media. Yeah. Remember that I was late to the party. All of us though. Yeah, all we of all us. wasn't on that shit. people though. You know what I'm talking about. Who Nate Robinson actually bought social media to yeah, our team to us, keep yeah. it real. Yep. Came in the locker room, yep. shot a famous video. We <laughs> was like, dancing. Him and Shaq. Can't remember that? Yeah, get we on Twitter. We trying to the Halloween mask. Yeah. That shit went viral. That Danny shit. had to come down and talk to us yeah. about social media. Remember that? <laughs> right. We had a whole media, social yeah, media social storm. Social media media. Right. Straight up. Yeah. So then I'm like, all right. I started tweeting. Mm. Your opinion? Do, during the playoffs. On, on your opinion on yeah. stuff? Yeah. So I started saying shit like, I was watching the Celtic game. They was playing against, I think it was Philly or somebody in the playoffs. 
and somebody helped, somebody drove, and Marcus Smart helped off the strong side corner. And I tweeted out like, damn, hey, damn, Smart, you know you ain't supposed to help oh, off the strong side, side corner. corner. That's yep. not your help. Yep. Gave up the corner three. Yeah. Like, come on, man, stay disciplined. Mm. So I just kept tweeting like that, you know what I'm saying, trying to get it out there. Just off stuff you were seeing from the game? Yeah, from the game. Okay. So I'm watching all the playoff games because you know how playoff basketball is. You want to see the action. Detail, too. Yeah, yep, it's detail. Yep, yep. So I'm like, all right, cool, because I feel like on Twitter, more so than any other social media, network, social media, Twitter, they actually have executives, Coaches, mm. they own Twitter. Mm. Whether they have burner accounts or whatever the case may be, you don't know who watching, but mm. they own them. They ain't really own my uh, IG. Uh, IG and Snapchat right, and all right, that right, shit, right, right? Right. So, next thing I know, I get a direct message from Fox. You know what I'm saying? And they like undisputed. Like, hey, you want to come on here with Skip and Shannon? Mm. It's like we'll fly you out. Come on, on, come on on. You know what I'm saying? Try it out a couple of days. I'm like, fuck it. Yeah, yeah, I want to go on there with him. And what you thinking? Let me see where I'm at or let me see what this is like. Let me embrace I, 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 the experience. I'm like, okay, I'm like, well, shit. This is another step for me to actually go on TV and talk so I could just spread my knowledge. Because like, I'm like, I don't know if the GM's looking, mm -hmm. you know, or who the Let's people who's hiring, all right? That's my plan. Next thing I know, they like, shit. I, I do my two days, like, hey. You want to finish the whole playoffs with us? I saw you. I I'm saw like, you. I'm did. like, hell yeah, I want to do it. They like, look, we we just really want to have you on. We'll pay for everything, your food. Uh, I'm like, I ain't tripping on the pay, man. I just want to do it. So then all of a sudden, I get a message from ESPN at the same mm. time, right? It's like. You want to come through through the car wash? What you thinking? Like, man, I got some? Nah, I'm I'm not even You're thinking still on, that. Like, I'm just getting my voice yeah, up. I'm, I'm getting just getting my voice up. Okay, I'm like, okay. fuck, where I got to go? They like, Bristol, Connecticut. I'm like, fuck it. I'm on the bird. I'm out. Go through the car wash. I go through the car wash, and I think this is what set me up. I go on that motherfucker, and I ain't going to even lie. I'm kind of nervous, right? Because you going on there, you don't know how that shit work. Right. And then you go on the get up with Greeny. That shit move fast pace. Yeah. You got a minute and a half to yeah. get your point off. Right. You got to shorten it you up. You got to shorten it ain't up. Much to talk and, I, and I go on there, and I say, Kawhi Leonard, man, his game mimics Michael Jordan. And the shit goes viral, mm. right? And then all of a sudden, people start talking shit to me. Like, what the fuck is wrong with Perk? Talking about his, his game mimics Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. But if you go back and watch, you watch his one dribble pull-ups. You watch hands. the palm of the ball. Oh, right. You watch all that. I didn't say he was Mike, but it mimics Mike. Then all of a sudden. He was in Jordan at that time, he was, too. Yeah, yeah, he was in Toronto. No, he was in Jordan. He was in Jordan, Jordan but he was in his no, Toronto bag. Yeah. So all of a sudden, Ooh. guess what? He started to take off throughout the playoffs. Take off, like Take I'm off. like y'all so, better who get that yeah, run. Yeah, so it's Jordan yeah. numbers that he kind of putting up. A great run. So all of a sudden, it's like next thing I know, I get undisputed, I get first take, and then all of a sudden, I, at the time, I get the jump. So I'm like, this all in the same time, and so I'm doing this all through the first, second, and third round, and and then all of a sudden. I was the only person that ever did first take and undisputed in the same day. Oh, wow. And that's two two rival, two rival, so you know what I'm saying? Taking yeah, the yeah. Out, turn around. And I did it, both of them same day, right? So I'm like, shit is on. So then I go and I do hoop streams. ESPN, like, we want you for the whole finals. Oh, snap. So I'm like, do hoop streams with Cassidy Hubbard. She welcome and it's like, you the co-host. So now we doing, we from Toronto. It's a golden state. What's your day? What's your day like? Are you are you in your books? Are you doing your research? Yeah, you on yeah, it? yeah, I'm on it. I'm, I'm looking at 24 stats. Twenty-four hours. Yeah, I'm looking at stats. I'm, I'm watching everything. I'm, I'm making sure I'm watching the game. What I'ma say? How I'ma say it? You forgot about coaching? That's gone. I forgot about coaching. Hey, what's up? I'm Cameron Garnett, and welcome to KG Certified. When it comes to the world of banking and finances, I admit it can be very confusing, especially from people coming from my community. I used to wonder, why is banking so confusing? That's why I teamed up with Money Lion. And I'm sure you're asking, <laughs> KG, what's Money Lion and how does it work? Money Lion is a groundbreaking app that allows you to bank, borrow, invest, and most importantly, manage your money. 
Imagine if you can get paid up to two days earlier. Imagine getting a direct deposit cash advance up to $1,000 with zero interest. Yes, you heard me, zero interest. Does your banking app do that? No, I didn't think so. Listen, financial literacy is very important to me, and that's why I'm putting you on game. Money Lion allows you to bank smarter rather than harder. That's why I downloaded the Money Lion app. It makes managing your finances easier than ever. Just go to moneylion.com to download the app. Dropping Dimes, sponsored by Money Lion. I started noticing something on my Twitter following, right? It go from 29,000 followers I had to all of a sudden I was up to like 300,000 within that time. Like the fuck? So now people listening. They fucking with you, bro. Yeah, they fucking with me. So I'm like, damn. That's so. Now all of a sudden, I start getting these agencies start hitting me up. Oh, snap. Like, hey, we want to have a meeting with you. Like, oh, yeah, you could be the new version of Charles Barkley type shit. And I'm like, who, me? So I'm like, hell yeah. Like, now I start looking at the salary of coaching. I start looking at the time. I'm like, hold on. I ain't got to spend that much time. I'm going to watch the game anyway. And I get to go talk about it on TV. Fuck it. And then I start loving that shit. Cause I'm a white, you know I'm a sit up here watch, and watch and this we shit. gonna have something to we say. Man, why he ain't doing yeah. it? Yeah, man, yeah. Man, yeah. Man, what the yeah. Fuck? We gonna watch it. So yeah. now it's like I don't even think about coaching. Wow. And you know where I'm at with it right now, Ticket. Where you are? To be honest, I'm trying to make this next career better than my last one. Mm. Cause I felt like I left so much on the table, and it was my fault that I was like, the way I'm approaching this, I'm not leaving nothing on mm. the table. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, whatever it is I'm doing, boo, I may fly from here, there, this, there, do this, do this, I don't turn down shows. But another thing that I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to pave the way for other role players to step in this lane. Mm. Cause it's not easy, you know what I'm saying? Like, Process, honey. Yeah, it's not easy for a role player. Like. A guy that was a role player. Coming like, off the bench, being able to speak on whatever. He yeah, still but, got knowledge, though. Yeah, but 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 it's not easy. So, like, think it's about not, Hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean not easy? You mean having the exposure or getting the opportunity easy? Getting the opportunity Ooh. easy. Like, just think about it. Like, when you're a franchise guy or you're a future Hall of Famer, yeah. Hall of Famer, yeah. Yeah. Man, you got the red carpet laid out for you. You know what I'm saying? It's more simple. But they kind of be knocking at your door as soon as you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but the role players, they got to take a whole nother route. So I'm only on some shit like, like trying to set it up where it's like, nah, you might need to look at it overall. You know what I'm saying? Give everybody an opportunity. Now, yeah. Hall of Famous is Hall of Famous. You know what I'm saying? You go bring a whole, motherfuckers here with KG say some shit, no matter, I don't give a damn. It's that shit go, people want to hear. Right. Shaq say something, people want to hear. Right. Barkley say something, people want to hear. Right. But now I'm a little bit, you know, a couple of levels under y'all. But Perk wanted that. Perk say some people want to hear. Motherfucker might not disagree agree with it, but you want to hear. Right. Let me hear what this motherfucker go say today. Right, right. So that's how I got into it, man. And I'm kind of, I'm cool where I'm at with it. You know what I mean? I'm right. cool where I'm at because I'm, I'm able to be myself, dog. All right. I always thought, like, man, I know we always talk basketball. We always talk from a high, high IQ, and it's always quality whenever we talk about solutions and how we would do stuff. I just never saw, I never saw you being, because, you know, at the end of the day, I know you shy, too. I know you shy, but Everybody I do know when you, that. Nah, but when you passionate about something, yeah. I know you'll speak up and say it with your chest, too. So yeah. when I watch you and you're doing your, and, you're not, and you know what's crazy? You're doing this. Each time you've gotten on the joint and spoke or gave your whole spill, you've gotten better and better. And I watch you, bro. So, you know, I'm, what's what's next for you, bro? Like, in the perfect world, what, what do you want to come out of this? To be honest, Ticket, I go back and it's almost like watching game film, right? Yeah, and this, you love it's to all, do. It's all areas that, like, how I'm going to clean up different shows. Mm. You got to have a different, I like, what you're doing. you know what I mean? So if I go on first take, I know it's a debate show. So I know when I file for it first, I know I got to be ready to have a counter. Yeah, just keep right? Going. So when I go on Sports Center, I know it's kind of just my opinion, but I'm going I'm to I'm crack one of them, them country yeah, jokes. Yeah, but, yeah. man, my thing is, is this, dog. I, I'm on some this big, bro, real talk. Like I said, I want this career 
to be better than my last career. Mm. And however that, whatever route I gotta take to get there, that's why I met with it. And sometimes, you know what I mean, it ain't all about your own show. It may not, you may have to have a show with two other people, you know what I'm saying, one host, but if I'm on there and it's like, Perk, you can catch Perk, he's the host. Mm. I ain't got that title yet. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if you look, I'm doing multiple shows, but I, I haven't it, got that tight. About to say, because I seen you. You doing the box, you doing some Boston analyst stuff now, right? Yeah, I work. I, I do that locally for them with I Scal. Like that. I like that. Scal. Scal is killing that. Bro, Scal got four he Emmys. Is, he is killing that. People don't even know that Scal got four Emmys. Though. Are you serious? Yes. He's got. He's listen. He's watched TV, bro. I had to watch. I. We don't get the. You know, I live west, so you don't get the local yeah, feed yeah. or whatever. So you got to actually go look for. Package and look up, you know what I'm saying? I watched, I watched this joint, man. He is killing that. He's killing that. It'd be good. It'd be good to see everybody, man. What you on, dog? What you mean? When I say what you on, you know what I mean. What you mean, I'm, man? I'm, you know what, perk, man? I'm doing this. I'm having fun with this KG certified. I want to be a more of a journalist. Go out for the the the, the crazy ass stories that's out here. When I've been, I've been making a lot of content. I got a new content company. You know, that's that's why I want to make my mark. Just like you, I'm about education too. But when I jumped into this, when the content is just not sports, it's the tech, mm -hmm. it's the new things that's popping up, it's the it's the it's the financial uh, literacy uh, uh, imbalance in in, yep. in in our whole community. Like I'm seeing from where my influence can actually affect and influence. So I've been trying to shoot content and actually bring things to the table that we not talking about or we don't have an interest in and make it fun. I'm, I'm going in here on this show and I'm talking about players that, not necessarily players, but basketball lovers who, who live, breathe, and, and, and just ingest it like we do. Yo. And they may be everyday people, like mm -hmm. Lethal Shooter, who's, who came from nothing and, and was, a, it was a, 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 a collegiate player who turned around and now he got a crazy following and he's a teacher. And a, and, and a trainer of shooting now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just, I'm interested in some of these, these smaller stories that don't get the hype and they are some of the most uh, liberating stories you can ever, you can ever find. I had Jamal on here. I had I a saw couple it. people come I, in. I saw the whole interview. Like I, I, I like like what I'm, what I'm about to do or what I'm about to take on and grabbing stories that you weren't thinking about. You see how betting is, is, in, is in sports now to where betting has another look now. It has a whole nother look. It's got lipstick on it. It's got a, you know what I'm saying? It looks good. It's it's yeah, it's like yeah, wow. We're yeah, yeah. Bet MGM. We in here. Yeah. Like babe, come here. Let me. You know what I'm saying? Like right. 15, 20 years ago, bro. <laughs> Kinesio tape is here. Do, I tell people all the time. Don't you know we was getting fined for Kinesio tape? Like like where we are in the world is just at a different place. Mm -hmm. We would never thought betting would be right here. You know what I'm saying? But I say that to say that in all of this change with NFTs, Coinbase. Uh, digital currency, all of this. That's what I'm on. I'm trying to be the blacker good. version of Brian Gumbo. Mm. You know good. what I'm saying? Right. I fucks with that. I'm that. Because everybody, everybody always asks me, they be like, man, how is KG? Man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, first of all, he's the best motherfucker you ever want to be around. Second of all, he's always thinking outside the box. Got to, bro. You got to because the things that are blowing up nowadays, is 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 no tolerance for it back in the day. Had no tolerance, and, and, and people are afraid to just jump off the porch. That's Facts. what I call it. Facts. Like you got to jump off the Facts. porch. Facts. And do you gotta, something different. You got to do something different, man. Yeah. You got to do something different. That, and I, hey, man, this is what you doing because I watched you and JC chop it up. I was like, yo. And that was real basketball with him. You know what I'm saying? He like us. He a basketball junkie. Oh, oh you know it. You I, know it. I gotta ask you this: Are you coaching the boys? Who my boys? Are you yeah, coaching? Yeah, them? are yeah. you coaching? So, them? so I'm coaching. I'm coaching. I'm coaching. Tell me who's the best out of everybody. Who's 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 who? Okay, um, I'm I'm coaching Stone Kingston, who's my ten year old. Okay, all right. He gonna be the number one draft pick in 2030, and I ain't even forcing it. He gonna right? be the number one pick in 2030. Yeah, 2030, 2031. Mm. He gonna be the number one pick. Yeah, ticket. He he really liked that. He he got it already. He love it. No, he, like for a ten year old, you'll be like, what the fuck? Like mm. he he really got that. Like I'm talking about. He got the jelly. He got the he got the handles. Mm. 
He got the IQ of the Downs. Mm. I throw it to him on the low block. He patient crowd, dribble, double team, come, seeing over the top. He got the Joker for game? Who uh, he play like? Yeah, that's who, he, that's who they call him. That's who they call him in the AAU circuit. Lil' Joker. Lil' Jokic. Lil' Jokic. Yeah, and he cleaned up all the glass. So we, so I don't keep stats on points, right? Five, five. I don't give a fuck about that. He'll score that. But what I do keep, I keep, I keep stat his mama write down all the stats uh, of everything else. Shout out to Van. We, yeah, well, shout out to Van, right, man. She right. be holding it down. Right. He, he know we got a rule. 15 rebounds, you know what I'm saying? Three mm. or four blocks. Oh, okay. Five or six or so six. Two he a two way. He played both ends. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He he could he could go, man. So What little perk at in us? You know what? He he man, he jumped off the porch a little late, but I, I like he might be a motherfucking lawyer or something, bro. Oh wow. Yeah, like he, he was always he, a little genius. Yeah, and that's what he be on, man. Like uh, he saying words around the house that I'm saying, hey, bro, I don't even know what that <laughs> is, man. You gotta speak that shit in lamest terms for me, like. Don't be coming around here speaking that, 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 you know what I'm saying, that eighth grade shit, man. I don't even know that shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't really even going man, to school like that. What is wrong like with you, man? No, you gotta be, you know what I'm no, saying? No, better version but, of you, but, yeah, man. Yeah, but they like, they want to skip them up to grades type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he that deep. Like you, I'm glad, like, like I'm glad you got them brains from his mama, man. Like, hold, on, hold on, got the brains from his mama. Thank God, let's give it up for Van. Thank God. So yeah, man, but that's that's what it is. But you know what? He'll do it to participate, but he got his focus in other areas, and I can't even be mad at him because the one thing I said was, I ain't gonna force nothing on right, him. Right. You all have to want to do it, but right. he never bought home a B. You know what I'm wow. saying? But don't test him because he's a black belt in karate, you oh, know, four wow. state championships when we was in Oklahoma. So he, although he may be cool, he got a little, you know what I'm saying? He getting right. to that age, he's 14 and oh, shit. Yeah, he he, himself. yeah, he got a little mustache, okay. you know what I'm saying? He's starting to chop it up on the phone and shit, hiding under the pillow and all that bullshit. You know what I mean? So voice all deep and I'm like, damn, I'm That's getting old. Up. But he, I'm loving it, you know what I'm saying? Now he going to driver's ed. I'm like, the fuck really going on? Uh-oh. He, so like, yeah, that, he like, man, I need this car. I'm like, shit, you going to get one of them motherfucking <laughs> cars we at. You going to get one bucket? <laughs> hey, you going to get that starters like everybody else. You watching the NIL? You, you know what that is? The name and likeness of these kids coming to high school and then in college being able to mm -hmm. get money now? Man. You know what I want to ask you? You, you, you? you conscious of it, right? Yes. Bro. Can you imagine being in high school, being able to make a million in high school, bro? Are you still hungry? Motherfucker, I'm always hungry. Facts. <laughs> I said, yo, little fat ass. I'm always hungry. So Look, let me ask you this. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm just thinking about it, though, dog. Sure, I like, did the same thing. Like, can you imagine being able to make, it at home, a million dollars, 500,000 even, 200,000? I'm just looking at. Man, that, that's a I'm game changer, bro. I'm just looking at these kids with their social media following. Yeah, they living. They, they stars. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna tell you, my sons, the two oldest, right? The kid like Mikey Williams, I think. Yeah. I'm watching my. He come to Houston, and they like, hey, dad, we gotta go to the gym. We gotta go see Mikey Williams. I'm like, motherfucker, Coach John Lucas just hit us about going to see the Rockets play the Lakers. Y'all said, nah, y'all ready to go see Mikey Williams? We, I'm pull up to the gym. I'm like, look, man, I ain't about to get out the car because I'm look, y'all 10 and 14, some of y'all partners there. Go ahead, walk up in there, y'all good. I ain't already made, so I'm sitting in the car. You know what I mean? You didn't go in. I ain't gotta go in. They old enough, ticket. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying, jump off the porch. And I kind of don't even feel like really dealing with the hey per. I see you do talking noise to this. I ain't nah, I'm in a different space, right? The line is around the corner. Damn, to get in here and watch the kid? Yes, I'm talking about like, like around the corner. It's standing room only. He playing He's, on some AU show? He in here no, just working he, out? He comes in from high school. So the high, their high school was visiting Houston. Oh, wow. And he had a game there. And, and when he gets off the bus, bro, his kid saying, Mikey, Mikey, and he's getting off his cameras flashing. He getting off swagging, and I'm sitting up here saying like, Damn, motherfucker jumping off here like he's Jordan or something, B. Wow. But it's really like that. It's really like that. I'm talking about like I'm like, damn, like, damn. So so look to that point. It's crazy, cause that's why I get so mad. 
I get so mad at guys that sit out and cheat the game, the NBA mm. game, because it shows disrespect to the guys that came before them. You know what I'm saying? Guys like you, Cole, Shaq, y'all had an obligation to hold up with, with guys like Jordan, you know, Hakeem, Magic, Magic yeah. passed to y'all, yeah. right? So you look at the numbers, right? They yeah. build it up, build it up, build it up. And now all of a sudden, with, with, with what y'all done, y'all made it possible for motherfuckers to make 200 million and they sitting it out and I get mad at that shit right. because not only is it disrespectful. It's responsibility to that money, man. To the next generation. Yeah. So you know, guess what the owners gonna be doing at the oh, next man. CBA? That's another question I want to ask you. You know what they gonna be doing? Listen, man, they finna cut out all this, uh, what do you call it, uh, load management. They gonna cut that out. And they going and they, for games you don't play, you won't get paid. They gonna cut that out. They don't know them two hundred, them two motherfuckers making forty seven. We don't know what they might do. They gonna pull that back. I'm saying, but you don't- Think about the next TV deal, though. Next TV deal is gonna be dumb. Next TV deal? It's gonna be stupid. Man, listen. I wonder if, if the league will ever pull their assets and go into what the NFL did with the NFL TV. You know, the NFL TV really wants the Super Bowl to be on the NFL mm. TV, you know, and to drive all the- I'm telling you, the league, no. the league wants to own their own property at some point. They, they do. I just don't think that. I think they're too invested in, in, in the bigger, yeah. in the bigger pieces that you know. Yeah, you know, when you look at ESPN. I was just about to say that Disney, that Disney that money is stupid, right? <laughs> right. But it's just, it's, it's almost to the point, right? The TV deal, going, next TV deal is going to be out of control. It's going to be out of control. It's going to be out of control. But it, it's man, I, thirty I just, billion. Easily. Easy. What was the last TV deal? Seven? It was some nineteen something. It was up there, bro. It's, it's, Next it's, TV deal gonna be like fifty billion. Cause the ratings keep going up. The NBA game and sports period is is up, up, up. With that thing that we now had to go through in the last three years. Yeah. Sports saved the world. Sports saved us from killing ourselves and jumping off the bridge. Yep. You know and, what I'm saying real and, shit. And on top of that. Kept us sane. I think in a few years that that rule go change. Where guys go be able to come out of high school. You, think you know so? why, bro? We got we got the best fucking commissioner in sports. Yeah. Like Adam Silver. It don't get no better than him. It, it don't, dog. Just Real think shit. about it. We went from having to wear suits and ties. Man, you can sit on the bench now and wear a hoodie with a with a hat on under with, with your hoodie. With five chains, with five chains, you might come Man, with some you shorts. Man, I saw I saw a motherfucker <laughs> wear a hat on and had a hoodie on on the bench. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I'm looking like, and then, man, I'm looking like, man, some of these niggas ain't even been asleep, man. They just coming in here straight from the bed, just sitting on the bench. <laughs> right. I don't know what I'm looking at half the time, man. You looking at Adam Silver, dog, change the game. It's crazy because Majority of the players got Adam Silver personal number that they could call him directly, mm. and he picks up. Mm. You know, he when I saw him, he he came up to every guy in the 75th anniversary, spoke to him, had a little conversation with him. When he came up to me, had a conversation. The first thing he did is, "Hey, I want to invite you to come by the office anytime." <laughs> and he, it was genuine I though. I said, "Man, what, <laughs> what trap up there, man? What y'all got a trap waiting on me in the front door?" <laughs> Yeah, but it leads upstairs, though. So, you know, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I just commended him and said, man, listen, you know, I, I did not see this coming from you. I've been in those meetings where I've seen you on top of the stage with Stern, and I see how y'all bully balls, a lot of stuff. I see, I, I saw y'all methods. He was like, well, I'm working to change that. He said, now they want to come out of, I want to come out of Stern's shadow and do it my way. And this is how I see us working. I, I, I told you, Kevin, I'm about growing the pie. And that's my philosophy. I'm never gonna argue over this. I'm gonna always talk about how to grow something. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna fight over something that's already here, but I had a great conversation with him, man, and he I'm reassured you, man. me that we're I'm, in a great place. I'm telling you, man, he's the he's And he the wants best. ideas on how to grow player development, how to help kids that are dealing with mental health. He was a strong player, you use a strong mind. How to, like, he is trying to bring an older generation back and inherit and put it in the league somehow. He, he won it all. Just think about everything that went on since he came into office. How long we was fighting for guys like Clifford Ray and, and Robert Parrish and yeah. Kevin McHale insurance. to get it's insurance. Like it happened with Adam Silver, right? How long you think like for us just uh, now, now you could call a Players Association 
and now they already put something outside of the 401k or your pension. They got something else in place where mm -hmm. you can start getting paid X amount of dollars a month or something like that for retired players who didn't do well for wow. their money. Wow. Like, and then when you think about certain situations past that ticket, like everything that transpired over the last few years during the pandemic, during the, the in social justice, guys not playing, whatever the case may be, we have never seen the NBA and the Players Association work together the way they've been working together. And that's Adam Silver. Even, even right now with Kyrie. Yeah. Kyrie been trying to speak on that shit for the longest, right? About how it's unfair. It really is, right? It really is because of the vaccine mandate, how, how it is. Adam Silver come out and speak on it. It, it was a whole different, now it's a whole different conversation. Yeah, and it's moving. It's moving. It's moving a little bit. But also yeah. the world is moving also, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. If you was to put a banner up in here, where would you put it? I would go right there. Where? So you, an 08 banner, a number five. So I would go. Look at the whole room now. I'm looking at the whole room. I wouldn't even mess with this area. I wouldn't even, I'd leave the court alone. I would put something right there on that wall. Mm. I would put something right here on this wall. Mm. Cause you already got this. Right. You need something on that. Mm. And then you put something right there in the middle. Right here, right here, right here dead in the middle. So I just want to give everybody you see I want, this? I, I want to give everybody a kind of a, <laughs> a, a prequel here. Perk has never decorated nothing in his house. <laughs> Shout out to Van for all the dope furniture they got. Now, I ain't saying you didn't pay for it, but he did no decorate. Big fella, last but not least, you my first interview in here. You understand? That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? I want to thank you for coming through, blessing the studio. Come you know on, what I'm man. saying? I know it ain't Come the mother shit that you used to, but you know, this our little baby. Come on, man. We're gonna rock We're gonna make it rock in here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> there you go. But and people always ask, do we dance? This is my wall. And I'm gonna let you have the first signature on the wall. Where, where we going at? Right here on this is the heart of basketball, Lord. Oh, you, you, can, you, oh. Get, you get the first signature. Oh. This, this is it. The first signature of the day, y'all. Perk. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, bless it where you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Forgot how to spell your name, look. <laughs> we got our first, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right away, we can make it out what it's saying now. None of that fifth grade fucking <laughs> shit. Trash ass handwriting. By the way, the nigga failed handwriting in class too, y'all. Just want y'all to know that. Uh. <laughs> hey, T. Yeah. Made you something. Oh, well, you number five regardless. What you about to say? Hold on. You five, big fella, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. I, I, look, you leave, you leave, you leave Bean. I see you go to Oklahoma City. I'm sitting there, I get my look, my little thing of popcorn. I'm living in New York. I'm finna watch you play. I pull up. You turn around, I see you go to the crowd, beat your I chest. I appreciate you, man, this guy. I looked, I said, oh, okay, thing. he got the five on, he beat me, oh, okay, and I stole the whole script. Okay, go ahead, big fella, you know what I'm saying? What you talking about? When you went to Oklahoma City, I saw you being a big homie to, you know what I'm saying, to your said, I saw you go to the crowd, beat your chest, boom. I was like, oh, okay, he gonna just take the whole thing. I was like, hey, I took the number I said, five, okay. Too. I see, I see you like, got it. It was like purple jersey number you want. I was like number five. Got the glove on his chest out here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? How proud are you and how big of a deal is this seeing your brother have his jersey door? Oh man, it's, it's everything, it's everything. Listen, I, I ain't go even lie. I never been to anybody else jersey retirement. It's my duty to make it to my big bros. Like, I ain't give a damn what I had planned or whatever, that didn't even matter. I'm making sure, if I had to work, I was taking off. Like, that, it's that important. And I think a lot of people don't understand, like, KG changed the franchise, right? Like, not just for us, but even for the greats above him. Like, when you hear the greats talk about him, like, like when I be doing a Celtic broadcast in the Celtic station, 
you hear about, you hear like Cornbread Maxwell, and he say things to the nature of, I don't care what nobody say, KG was the best all around player to ever touch this floor. Mm. And it's like. That's tough. That's it's tough. like, That's tough. you know what I mean? Like, when you hear Cornbread say that, who played with every single body, it just hit different. Wow. And man, I'm just, I'm just, I'm proud of him. Man, I can't wait to be there. The atmosphere gonna be crazy. I'm ready to see him cry, get those chills, goosebumps, cause it's gonna be rocking. There will be no crying <laughs> in the garden. Tears, maybe no crying. Now that's all good, man. I feel like uh, me being hoisting this number is uh, um, the fellas are with me. I got the guys with me in the five. It's, it's my number, but I feel like I represent everybody with me. So, Yo. you know, it'd be dope to have everybody there. So I'm looking forward to this. Bro, think about that for a second, though. Think about that. Your number going up with Bird. Right. You know what I'm saying? Have a check. Right. Kel. Mikael. Yeah. Bill Russell. Right. You know what I'm saying? Red R back. Yeah. That's a whole nother lane in itself. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's a whole nother lane in itself, dog. I'm just, man, I'm proud of him, man, for real, man. Work, he don't like that man. sentimental stuff, but you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, come here, boy. Come here, boy. <laughs> Gotta bring it out of him. That's something, man. Don't break him in the neck, man. Shit, man. And that's a cut. <laughs>